So let's uh, transition over to your day-to-day as far as how you grow this global Cardano community. There was a recent article saying that the Cardano Foundation is doing a brand refresh and working with a company called McCann. So McCann is a very, very large company. They've been around since 1912. They have over 10,000 employees. And for those that are not familiar with McCann, they did the Coca-Cola, it's a real thing kind of slogan. And they work with a lot of different worldwide recognized companies in order to provide slogans and increase their marketing outreach. And they've obviously been around for over a hundred years, so they know what they're doing. Um, they, they generate quite a lot in revenue each year and they're a very large company. They're trusted by many different companies. So what led the Cardano foundation? What is a, first of all, what is a brand refresh? And second of all, why McCann and what's, are are we going to have some sort of slogan in the future? Are we looking for some sort of Coca-Cola like slogan for Cardano? Um, sorry if I wrapped up so many questions in one, but yeah. So what is a brand refresh? Let's start with that. (laughs) Well, yes, let's start with that. Um, we're, I think brand refresh is not, I just want to make it very clear because there, I think there was confusion. It's not a complete rebrand because the brand refresh in, in this instance means we're you know, reappraising the current brand. We are evaluating what is the brand's value at the moment. That includes brand audit, brand service and some people within the ecosystem and out of ecosystem are being surveyed. So some of the ambassadors have been selected from various locations with different backgrounds. They'll be interviewed and um, by McCann. And the aim of this exercise is to, well, if I step back and talk about our brand, um, the brand itself developed organically. It's wrapped around Charles's vision about Cardano what it is and what it should be. But there has never been any um, formal um, alignment of the brand. It just evolved organically and every person will have their own definition, what Cardano is for them and what Cardano stands. And when you, and when you specify the question and you say, what actually does Cardano stand for? What do you think they stand for? They will not know or they will have their own version. So we just want to bring it all together first you know, reappraise our brand, you know, do a brand audit and, and, and brand survey, see what people actually think our brand is and see if it matches our own definition of, of what we are and what we want to, you know, um, and whether it's aligned to our mission, to our objectives and, you know, to our vision. So that will be the first step and we're calling it the discovery phase. And um, there were 20 people selected um, by McCann uh, to be interviewed for the brand survey and there are people from all all over the world. So, and that was, um, and that was quite key for us. As I mentioned, diversity is very important for us and people from different countries with different linguistic skills were selected to be interviewed by uh, McCann and uh, Cardano Foundation will not have any record to those interviews and also people uh, from who are not ambassadors as well. Um, you know, within IOHK, CF, and Amerigo, and see what their vision is. At the same time, there will be a brand audit done by McCann to see what is the external um, opinion about us and does it match? And if it's a mismatch, how far is the perception gap in between? So this is the first stage of something that's probably going to take some time and we are doing it in, you know, in several steps, and we recognize that it should have been done a lot earlier. But um, now, with the Corona Foundation, was very busy actually cleaning up, you know, um, previous um, past mistakes for the first ten months, and now we actually have time to do um, something that we we're supposed to do. And uh, we would so we want to do it good and we want to do it well and that's why we didn't want to rush into it. Uh, This is a credit foundation mandate so we have researched and we've identified McCann was most suitable. After a few meetings with them we decided to award uh, the mandate of reappraising the brand for Cardano and for the Cardano foundation and Cardano foundation as the custodian of the blockchain 
actually, we were supposed to do this a lot earlier um, when the foundation was set up. But as you know, for objective reasons, that hasn't been done. And now after we've put more than 100 control measures to not repeat the previous administration's mistakes, we now finally have time to do things like this. And second question, why McCann? They have really good credentials. They work with biggest brands. And they're one of the few teams that actually understand blockchain. They understand the value creation of the technology and what it could do. And I must say, it's very hard to find a team that actually was willing to take on something that's so new, something, uh, you know, an industry that's still maturing. I mean, blockchain and earlier you asked the question, what's my normal day like? And probably one of the things is that we make rules as we go along because the industry itself is not mature. We are, I hate that we're blazing a trail, but actually we are bulldozing a trail for the industry. And part of it means a good brand. It, it might include a slogan. It, it, this will depend on the brand audit and, and, and brand um, survey. It, um, it might, you know, it might include a lot of different things. You know, it could include as simple things like color palette or typography, or it could just leave the way things are. Uh, it could go a lot of different ways. Um, personally, what I'm expecting is that we will, they will help us to actually narrow down the, um, the perception gap between what we think Cardano is and what the external audience think Cardano is and also to help us uh, to hone the messages, the overall narrative, the story. What is the story behind Cardano? What is the story should be like? What, does, what story do we want to tell? After all, brand is a narrative. It's a narrative through pictures, through videos, through uh, certain messages. So all of this, we want to bring it together. We want to ensure that it works for all kinds of audiences, specialist audiences, non-specialists. It works for devs, for governments, for corporates. And I must say, it's a mammoth task to ensure that we have something that everybody can relate to. We want to make it relatable as well. We don't want to alienate, for example, a uh, you know a middle-aged you know state official who has no idea about how blockchain works, but would like to uh, integrate blockchain into their system. The same goes for corporate. So, and it is um, so. Hopefully, we will. Um, so, the the first stage, the 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 interviews or, or you know brand surveys taking place in the first week of January. With uh, in and then we will have the first preliminary uh, results uh, end of January, and after that um, we'll get the recommendations of um, you know what the audit and the survey revealed and what direction we should take or what tweaks we should make. And as a result, we will start going to the next stage of the brand reappraisal. That will include visual elements, visual and storytelling and narrative elements. This might, I mean, this might be a bit boring and too technical, but every message, every message that's crafted needs to speak and needs to, every person, every person should feel that they say, oh, wow, I didn't know that. When, for example, when we want Cardano to be synonymous with a lot of things, and for example, Hoover, um, it is a brand name, but it's also used as a verb. Let me Hoover the house. We want Cardano to be the same, and with it, the foundation as the custodian of the blockchain. And um, the council is very excited about this, and I think the whole team is very excited, and they're. One of my um, team members said, it's like a thriller. You never know what you're going to find out and you'll keep biting your nails. And come January, I'll be at that stage probably waiting in anticipation what the brand survey um, will find out.